I like to just look at the monitor and then I'll look down and then I'll look up. Oh my god, that takes skill. <laughs> and go. Yes. Look down. You're so cute. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I love Sunday, I'm trying. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. So today I am doing my friend's makeup. We have just been kind of playing around with so much makeup and I was just not in the mood to get glammed. I was like, time to see the glam go down on someone else. So I decided to glam her up and share with you guys different techniques on a different face, different product, but overall come out with a great outcome. We actually met kind of via Instagram. She won a contest for like this thing I did yeah, with like, like a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. Been in contact ever since. And you know, we just been talking and I mean, now we're here. One day I was like, Neely, I would love to do your makeup. We sat down today, we said we we're gonna do it, have fun and play with makeup. So the thing about her is that she doesn't really wear much makeup, like she doesn't really wear um, colors like this. She, she does wear lips, she does wear mascara, but there are a few things that she doesn't wear like the way I did it at all. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to do that. But nonetheless, I wanted to give you guys just overall an educational, but really, really pretty video and I hope you guys are excited about it. So if you guys are, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and as always, comment, like, share, do what you gotta do. Um, follow me on Instagram if you guys already don't. And yeah, that's it guys. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Going in with the Marcha Cups Youth Quake to hydrate your skin. You have to hydrate, guys. It's gonna make your face look smoother and more hydrated, and everything just wears so much better. Next, we're going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is one of my favorites, and Maylee was telling me that her issue is that her makeup doesn't stay on the way she wants it to, so I feel like with this, it's gonna really grab onto the makeup and hold it on and make it last longer. Next, I'm going in with the Hourglass Arch Eyebrow Pencil. She's got great brows. She knows it, too. So I'm going to grab this fully and brush up her brows, get them in place. And from there, I'm going to move and fill in the tail of her brow. Towards the front of the brow, you're going to see I'm going to lightly sketch it on. It's going to look a lot more softer that way. And I'm just repeating the steps onto the next brow. Next, I'm going in with the Tarte Busy Brows, and I'm going to use this to lightly kind of comb in her brows. It's kind of like a brow gel, but this adds a little, oop, a little bit of color. Look how bomb that looks on her. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Almond to clean up her brows. So I'm doing this mainly to hide away any kind of stray hairs, but also make the brow look a little bit more cleaner. I do this on my brows, and I love it. I feel like it also brightens up my eyes, so for that reason, I love doing it on clients. I think it just also enhances their eye shape, their eyebrow, and just brings everything forward. So after I add the concealer on, I love to move the product down kind of onto the eyelid. It works perfectly because it is a concealer, so it's gonna conceal any kind of discoloration or if you have any areas that are a little darker. So now I'm gonna go in with my P. Louis Shadow Base in the shade Rumor and add it to our lid. This is my favorite go-to base. So I'm gonna tap it onto the eyelid and lightly marry the concealer and the base together. Now I'm gonna go in with this MAC palette. I forgot the name, but I will list it down below. And I'm gonna start off with the lighter shades and use this as our transition color. It's gonna build it up with a large fluffy brush to really make sure it looks nice and seamless. So I'm gonna now continue to blend this shade out with that same color, following the same steps, just really going in that light circular motion. Transition colors are really key when it comes to any kind of eyeshadow look you do. It's really gonna blend everything and be that background color that helps make the entire eye look look so seamless. So next, I'm gonna tap into these two shades right here. I'm gonna blend them together. And I'm gonna start by tilting my head back a little bit, going right in the outer corner of the crease. And I'm going in circular motion and start to lightly wiggle that shade up. And then lightly taking it a little higher. So with this shade, we're just slightly darkening up the transition. A little bit of the crease, but mainly just darkening it up. And creating just a little bit more depth. Ooh, going in with the new palette from Sigma. This is her Enchanted palette. Okay, so we were looking at this and we're really intrigued to play with these green shades, which is what we're gonna do right now. So going in with the color Tierra, again, right in the crease, just to build this up. And you guys, I'm kind of like a messy worker, so you're gonna see a lot of color on the outer corner of the eye, which will be cleaned up a little later. And I'm going to tap the shadow as close as I can to the inner corner of her eye. Always connect it in there so that the color can peek through in the background. Sorry. 
I just grabbed you so hard. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm now gonna go in with these two shadow bases uh, again to do a little bit of crease cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this on the eyelid. And because I want this to be like a soft cut crease, I'm just gonna add it on, I'm not really trying to cut, but just adding it to reactivate this area so that the next shade can really stand out. And then now I'm gonna go in with the caviar stick. So this one's a little silver color. And what I'm gonna do is tap this right on the lid. Now I'm doing this just to add a little sparkle underneath. And then when the next shade goes on, it can hold onto those little particles. That's gonna really bring out the next shade we're gonna tap in. So now I'm gonna tap into the shade Cosmo, which is this super gorgeous dark green, kind of like chamomile, no cut, no chamomile, chameleon kind of shade. It's really, really pretty. So we're gonna tap that over the shadows I just applied on. Ooh, Millie. And it is. And now I'm just slightly tapping the shade up. And then again, just tapping it all over the lid, going back and forth. And you can see I'm holding the brush kind of like a pencil, so it's really doing a gentle press. Just slightly tap, 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 tap it out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shade Evergreen, really deep emerald. And I'm gonna use this simply towards the corner of the eye, not really trying to smoke it out into the crease, just kind of tapping it lightly in there. We both originally said, let's do like a bronzy, smoky eye. And I was like, no, do something a little different. I'm gonna keep this towel on you. Yeah. So I can stop wiping my clothes. <laughs> we both were saying how bronzy eye would look really good, but you know, I felt like just kind of tapping a little bit of color in her life. Color is so scary sometimes to play with because we don't know like if the person's comfortable. But something like this, you're still working in the neutral shades, still in the neutral tones. Um, and I feel like it could still be wearable for anybody if you just apply it on the right way. Have you ever worn this much makeup? I'm like, damn, I usually do two eyeshadows. I sprayed on a little bit of Fix Plus onto the brush and then picked up Cosmo one more time. Tap it on and then a little tapping over the evergreen just to blend it all in. I'm now gonna go in with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara to coat up her lashes. So this is a new bottle and I'm gonna let her keep it but I'm also gonna have you do it because it's the one thing that freaks me out to put on anyone's oh, eyes. If you do makeup, I'm sure you can agree with this, it can be a little scary sometimes. I feel like you know your lashes better than I do so she's gonna really be able to get in there versus me, I'm just all coat like one, three and that's it. While she does that though, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes and put some glue out. You know, we're doing two things at once. And next I'm gonna go in with the Happy Wife, Happy Life Lashes from Lily Lashes. Really pretty, wispy, full lashes. She has actually really nice long ones. You can kind of see them, they're really nice and long. But these are gonna add the va va boom to her eyes. She's probably never gonna wanna take them off. But see the lashes added just more yeah. depth. It doesn't look like a ball of hair, like how I like my lashes. Hers look really, really like fluffy and soft. I'm gonna go in with the Eula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm putting her on this one, and I am just gonna be applying this on with a very fluffy brush and just tapping it into place. And I feel like after cleaning it up and doing this, it's just like the last thing you need before you go in with the makeup. It really conditions it underneath, preps it for makeup, and also just helps to smooth and blur everything out. You guys, just like that, she already looks stunning. Her eyes look so good. <laughs> you make me want to go put makeup on. <laughs> so next, I'm taking in the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I'm gonna be mixing the shade Latte and Fawn. A few reasons why we're using this. One, she loves coverage. She likes to be nice and full and have an even tone. And two, these are probably gonna be the only shades that match her that I have here at the moment. I did want to give her something that does, that is long lasting, full coverage. She won't have to worry about all night and I feel like this foundation could truly provide that. I'm a big fan of this foundation. I love the way it makes my skin look and feel. And what I love too is that it has hyaluronic acid in here. So it really helps to plump the skin to make it look plumped and juicy, smoother, locks in a ton of moisture. So I mix, you guys can see, like one pump of each. And my favorite way to apply this foundation is with the Kabuki brush. I'm tap a little bit of that on first. So this is Latte, and I'm quickly just gonna grab a little bit more Fawn, just cause she's a little bit lighter. And then from there, I'm now just gonna go ahead and lightly just tap the product into the skin. So for ultimate coverage, I feel like the best way to do that is to tap, tap, tap. The minute you go into swiping left and right, I don't feel that you're gonna get the coverage that you want. And then I'm gonna grab the, the Beauty Blender and then tap right over the product and really push it into the skin. So I love doing this right after I apply this on to really melt it into the skin. So 
So for concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I'm gonna actually apply this on to the back of my hand, but apply it on with the brush. And after I apply it on with the brush, I just take it in my beauty blender, pounce it on. I lately have been loving applying the concealers on with brushes. I think it just applies a perfect amount. I feel like sometimes for myself, I over apply with the applicator. So doing it this way just allows you to have a, well, allows you to have a perfect amount of concealer on where it's not going to crease up or you're going to over apply. And then with a brush like this is where I'm going to go right along the sides of the eye to lightly clean up. This is going to clean this area up to look a lot more snatched on the side if that makes any sense. What I love too is that it's not going to make this area too sharp. So one thing about her too that I do notice is that she does have a little bit more hollowness on this side of her eye. So it's important to take in the concealer to really treat those areas. Otherwise, it will look a little bit more deeper on this side. Wow, really? So pretty. So snatch. There we have it on that. I'm now going to go in and do a little bit of setting. So I went in with the Murad Hydration Prebiotic 3-in-1 Multi-Mist. It's just really nice to kind of reset and refresh the makeup. And I love just setting in between the makeup application. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 110. And I'm simply just gonna set her under eyes with this. And a couple other areas in the face where I feel that she will need a little powder. Look at what setting does. Oh yeah. I feel like not only does it lock it in, but it just makes it, everything look a little bit more smoother as well. Okay, I'm taking in now the Guerlain Terracotta Powders. It's got like a three in one situation, but I wanna use the bronzers. So this to me is like a perfect bronzer on me. Maybe because she is a little lighter, I feel like it's gonna look really nice on her and kind of warm her up. And then I'm going around the hairline, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and go along her cheeks, starting on the back and then working my way to the front. So I'm gonna have her not smile and then again work that bronzer back. This bronzer is so nice because it does have like a little bit of a glow inside of it. Not too much, but just a little bit. So it does look really nice and healthy. I'm gonna run it now like on the tip of her nose as well. And then for the blush, we're gonna use this palette from NARS. It's the Wanted Number no. One, the cheek palette. So there are six shades in here. I think this is gonna suit her skin tone really nicely. And I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of the bottom one as well. That looks so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with another Maybelline product and it is the Fit Me Loose Powder. I just realized I had this last video. I was asking if you guys knew of any setting powders. Totally forgot I had this, but this is a really great setting powder. It's also a really good powder you can use to bake underneath of your eyes with. Comment down below if you guys are liking it so far. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in back with the shade Tierra and I'm gonna use a little bit of Innocence and I'm mixing that up to kind of keep it brighter underneath. So I like doing lighter shades underneath of here instead of a dark shade when I'm working with smoky colored eyes. Just because it's already a lot going on, it's kind of already out of your comfort zone. So the last thing you wanna do is make it too dark. And I feel by doing this, you're just overall bringing out the lid color. Cause I feel like just adding this brown and this pink together is enhancing the shade of the green. Gorgeous. It looks so good. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Stay Eyeliner in the shade Lasting Brown. So this is a super gorgeous, like, cafecito brown. Perfect for the waterline, uh, but I love to just add a little bit of this on there. Oh, just yeah. pops the eye. I'm now gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder, but while I'm dusting it off, I also like to press it into the skin as we do want that area to still stand out. Okay, go ahead and look down for me. All right, lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Backstage Face Glow Palette. Now this one's a little bit more on the icy side, while this one's a little bit more golden. So I'm gonna tap a little bit of each one. So I'm gonna tap this along the sides of her face just to give her a little bit of highlight, give her that glow and that radiance. I feel like the radiance always brings the youthfulness out in someone's skin, so I do always love having a highlight on. As I said, it's not for everybody, but I do think it looks really gorgeous. And I always hit a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then a little bit just on the tip of the nose. We almost forgot, but I'm gonna be adding some to the inner corner of the eye. So I'm gonna go in with the gold shade. I can tap a little bit on top of the brow. I love it. We kind of look like we're gonna be related right now. Maybe it's the way our eyes are. So for our lip, guys, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty lip liner in the shade Nude One. And then for the lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Super Huda Beauty in the shade Staycation. 
and tap it just in the center of our lip with the brush. And I'm kind of blending in the lip liner and the lipstick together. And I'm also going to go in with this lip gloss from LMR Cosmetics called Coqueta. I feel for any kind of color like this, it's so important to throw in nude on top. I just feel like it looks alive too. I used to be like so anti-gloss. Now I find myself not being able to live without gloss, especially when I wear nude. I feel when it comes to reds or berries or pinks, especially deep colors, I definitely stay on the more matte side because I do love how it looks and just in general how it feels and it doesn't move. But for nude, forever, I have to wear gloss on top. Okay, Miss Minnie, you're all done. And lastly, guys, before we go, we gotta do one more setting spray. I know it's a little crazy, but at the end of all my makeup looks, I always do my all-nighter from Urban Decay. This one just allows you to have the best night of your life. Don't have to worry about anything moving. Locks it in for up to, I think, 16 hours. You can get lit, you can go out, you can go in a pool. You can do whatever you want, girl, and it won't move. <laughs> I went ahead and added two clips onto her hair to finish off the look. And she is all done, guys. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. It's sophisticated, it's grown, sexy, love how everything looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this look. And if you guys like seeing these makeup looks, obviously in future ones, if you guys want them, we could definitely do different techniques, but I feel like I just wanted to glam her. And this is it, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.